Hello and welcome to my new video. If you're new here, hi, I'm Lex and today we are doing a beautiful island tour. This is the island of Eventide that I stand on currently. It is a 70s hippie commune with lots of lore that we're going to get into as we look at things. I love the island flag, how beautiful. I tried to dress appropriately, but I'm not going to lie, I am not a 70s expert. So I hope that the gifts near resident services are perhaps an outfit. We'll see, we'll see. First of all, just to start out, this is freaking gorgeous. This island is by gnome.crossing on Instagram. Definitely go and check her out. Tasha is obviously an incredible creator. I mean, do you see just this entrance? Hello? Hello? Are we looking at the same thing? Let me go grab these presents. This is very close to resident services, by the way, so I love the way Tasha has terraformed to kind of make the entrance feel bigger, even though resident services is pretty close to the airport. Let me check out these gifts. Okay, Tasha has absolutely set us up with an outfit and there's no options. I actually kind of prefer that. It stresses me out when I have to like figure out what I want to wear just off the fly like this. So we just have one option here. I think we even have the same glasses, perhaps a different color though. Yeah, look at me. I was wearing the right glasses. Give me some props. I'm gonna hold the mushroom wand. This is so 70s actually. This is amazing. I love this. Before we go any further, here is the map. How beautiful. By the way, look at this terraforming. The pathing around to resident services is gorgeous. There's the dream address if you'd like to visit and we have several villagers, um, like residents on the island. We've got Tasha, Bill Wibley, Disco, and then the villagers are Bunny, Bud, Gloria, Gonzo, Ioni, Drago, Shep, Bob, Azalea, and Deirdre. I must say, these are stellar villagers for the island, especially Bob. He just has 70s vibes, his coloring, everything about him actually definitely fits this theme. I also think Bud is very perfect. Underappreciated villager. He does fit in with quite a few themes. I mean, 70s hippie commune, um, Tropicor. I have a feeling I'm gonna get super duper lost, but we're gonna just go ahead and head out here. Starting with this beach, how gorgeous. Love the pattern on this shower, this little bathroom stall. We've got a Cosmo shower. I love the custom designs. I will, by the way, put the custom design codes provided to me by the creator in the description for your viewing pleasure. Look at this, the little volleyball. I love, I think the beaches already, I mean, just going off of this one, there's a very good balance of empty space versus where furniture is placed and plants. Like it's easy to walk through, but there's still stuff to look at, you know? The houses have been redecorated, so we'll head in and look, but has a good view of the beach, which is suitable since his house is on the beach. Love that attention to detail. There's a lot going on here. I love the wooden walls. It definitely fits 70s vibes for houses. And he's even got a little campfire in here. He's got like his own little sandy patch. He's like in a villa on the beach. Okay, I'm gonna try to figure out how to get back on land from here. I think I can jump. Oh, I can just walk right here. Look at me, look at me. So we're in a villager neighborhood right now. It's very beautiful, by the way. Love these little things set up here. We've got like a gas station, very old fashioned, very retro. The skateboard, I love the custom designs, the vivid colors that are worked in, like here with this welcome mat, the fact that there are wreaths and everything. I love, I love, I love when you can tell how much you know, care went into designing an island. All of the details really do matter with things like this. And this is such a specific theme too. This is gorgeous. Look, this villager has like a little dock. Obviously I can't go in the houses where the villagers aren't home at the time. So if you would like to visit, please, I do encourage you to check out the stream address for yourself. You might be able to see different villager homes than the ones I'm able to show you today, but we will go in here. This one has a cafe label. So I'm, I'm guessing we have a good idea of what this is gonna look like also. Here's a little gnome, and this is important because part of the island lore is that this commune may or may not be run by evil gnomes from outer space. I do think that is essential for understanding the island, and I do love, I do love that. Actually, we love an island with lore. Let's head into this cafe. Look, it's Gloria's house. She's such a perfect little barista. I love this. Look, the creator has made like a little hallway back here. Gloria, I need you. I need you to get out of my way, queen. We might not be able to go back there, but you know what? I can look. Look at this. She's got like a little living quarters back here. I feel like I always go into smaller cafes and there's like a hallway leading down where you can like go to the bathroom and stuff and they have these little curtains. So that's lovely. I love that custom design, by the way. 
the color scheme and everything is so nice, especially because we're seeing this like vivid colored kitchen stuff. And I think that really matches with my understanding, at least of the 70s. Like I said, not an expert at all. But when I think of like movies that are placed in the 70s, I do picture, you know, these like brightly colored kitchen gadgets and stuff. So this is so cute. Okay, coming back out of the house, I must say, I think this creator has, again, just a lovely eye for balance. I'm looking at the pathing now, the way the custom designs are placed. There's like plenty of empty space, but still a ton to look at. And I think it's gorgeous. I also really like this maypole and then like keep like walking around it. It's so attractive to the eye. Let's talk to this villager, by the way. Disco says, life is a garden, dig it. Look at, that's so cute. I love her bandana too. And then we've got Bob, which is sad because I was really hoping we'd be able to go in Bob's house. But no, he is walking around. This is cute. Look at this little area for the scooter. They've got a surfboard, a little private pool deck back here. This was back when housing prices weren't so terrible. I'm just kidding. I actually don't know, as I said, anything about the 70s. So maybe housing was ridiculous back then. I'm assuming it wasn't as bad as it is today. So yeah, they had, you know, their own private pools and stuff. Look at this beautiful terraforming absolutely stunning views as you're walking through here this is very natural oh because it's the campsite look at that look at that i was picking up on the vibes i'm picking up what tasha is putting down this is stunning are you kidding the little camper van i feel like i'm on a 70s music festival right now the Beatles are about to perform. I have no idea when the Beatles were popular either. I am so sorry. I am so sorry for my lack of 70s knowledge, but that's what I'm imagining. That is what I'm imagining. Oh, look at this beach too. A little private beach for the campsite. And then this is another resident home. How cute. We've got Drago walking around here. King so much going on look at this pumpkin carriage over here this is like special vip camping experience this is like the disney camping experience back here the campsite is beautiful and i also love that tasha did have a campsite visitor whenever she set the dream address this is lovely the vibes are just different i think than if it had been empty look at this view i mean are you joking like look me in the eyes is this not one of the coolest islands you've ever seen the balance of natural and then obviously we have you know a little bit of city vibe with the setup for the villager houses the neighborhoods the cafes there's a lot going on here you can even swim if you want to look there's a little swimsuit here obviously people have got to wash their clothes and put them out to dry we've got this tie-dye hoodie of course Look at this little sand castle in a puddle. It's actively melting, but that's okay. Somehow someone's brought their car onto the beach. We've got the deck over here, the pier. Super cute. The colors and everything. It's like so vibrant. The time of day is really beautiful. Oh my gosh, nude beach ahead. Stop, you can hang up your clothes here. You've got to go into this beach naked, actually. Lots going on here. Look at that, you can come lay down. Only, only naked though, so keep that in mind. Oh, this terraforming is beautiful. I almost like walked right by it as if this isn't absolutely stunning. I have no idea how much of the island I'm like missing as I walk by all this, but look, look, this is so cute. I am loving the vibes. And we've got, oh, we've got a lighthouse. I love the, the storefronts placed around it to make it a kind of building in the base. And it's like a research center. As we can see, there are some deep sea creatures here. This duck on the rock, it's so cool. It's like we've got little tide pools over here. I don't know what exactly these would be called. That's just what I'm calling them. Obviously, there's so much like, what is it called? What is it? Oh my goodness like marine biology research is what I'm trying to say going on here, as it should be. You can also go up this vine. Not sure if I'm supposed to be at this part of the island yet, but you know, I do be walking around out here. Um, There are definitely some vibes going on over here. Okay, setting aside how impressive it is for the creator to have made this, this is a little creepy. We definitely are seeing the evil aspect of the gnomes, the gnomes from outer space. Uh, they've got this huge skeleton shrine going on in the back. I'm so glad I, what if I had missed this? This is a little, a little wild. Um, I do fear actually for the villagers on this island. Now I am a little concerned for their well-being. 
We're just gonna mosey on over here like nothing happened. I definitely did not stumble into the cult of the evil gnomes. Okay, I've just headed back to the campsite so we can continue where we left off, um, hopefully safe from the evil overlords. There's a little deck here with a duck, very cute. Oh, I love that too. It's like a shipwrecked little yacht over there, a little fishing boat. And let's head up this incline that we haven't gone to yet. Ooh, I love this terraforming here as well. The incline being so close to the other incline we just took. And then we've got, I'm supposing, Ioni's house here. She's got her own little telescope. That's adorable. And then we've got this, like, bridge. This land bridge heading back. Imagine living in such a, like, secluded little area. So much beautiful terraforming and waterfalls. Oh, I think we're heading back towards the evil gnome location. This is just the other side of it that I couldn't access before. Here's a throne with gnome guards. This isn't ominous at all. No, not even a little bit. The amount going on here, but the way it's still easy to walk through is wild. Tasha, you're like an Animal Crossing genius. Also, viewers, if any of you use Spotify, who is your top artist on Spotify Wrapped this year? Let me know. Mine was Seafret. They sang Atlantis. Um, that was my top song. I listened to it 392 times. Oh, Ioni's house is accessible. You just have to jump over these little waterfalls. And there is a... There's another, another situation with the gnomes. I'm, I am scared, actually. Like, call me, call me a coward. But what is happening? There are so many of them. They're not even secret anymore. Like, the island lore that they're like, it's secretly run by gnome overlords. Ioni's got a telescope, right? She's watching them. She's a detective. They are actively probably bringing in new recruits on that UFO. That is terrifying. They're scary. Anyway, but this house is super cute. I love the tile design here. Hi, Ioni. Please don't be, please don't be hurt by these gnomes. I jest, but the, the island lore is actually so funny and well done. I've just stumbled across here. This is just at the top of that wooden incline we visited earlier. So I'm just going to the right now instead of to the left. Some beautiful pathing around here. Oh, another villager home down there in a duck pond kind of area. The terraforming here is absolutely stunning. I could use this whole island for a terraforming ideas video. Like, consider this your terraforming ideas for the week. We've got like a little secret pathway back here also. Oh my gosh, so you can go back and see the shrine area. So hopefully I wouldn't have missed it anyway, but I am glad we checked that out. It's like a little island warning. Yeah, there are really dangerous gnomes walking around out here. This is stunning, by the way. This, like, through the forest pathway. Look how cool it is with the shadows, too. The lighting and everything is just really well planned. And we've got pergolas. Look how pretty this was. And this leads back to a villager home or a resident home, I mean. Let me see which one this is. So this is Tasha's house. We're gonna run in and check it out, but there's a little secret beach access back here. Oh my gosh, we don't have to talk about what this is. You already know, you know, you know what's going on. Okay, look at this. I'm not gonna say it. You know what's going on here too. There's lots happening. Uh, this is super cute. I love the vivid couches. I like that there's yellow to break up the full orange. I feel like people can be so casually creative. Like I wouldn't have thought to include these little separate color pieces, but they add so much to the vibe. I also love that the house is kind of tucked away in like a foresty area. And then we've got these green walls, very plant-like, very natural. And all the villager photos, look. I wonder if some of these villagers lived here previously and have since moved out. I feel like Julian would have been a great addition to this island. I hope he was here at some point. Yeah, look, there are literally 10 entire villager photos. Was there a whole host of villagers that have been replaced? Oh, look at this. We've got some street graffiti. This is like an art room. Very nice. And all the gyroids, they're like examples of the pottery happening here. There's literally some painting going on right here. This is so cool. This is very well done. And this creator is using soundscapes to make it like you're outdoors. This is so cool. A little like camping deck complete with a telescope. You've got the northern lights. This is stunning. Possibly one of my favorite in er, interiors ever. 
This is so beautiful. Okay, this is the room to the left, a little bathroom. Love the like sea kind of references here with the seashell rug. I feel like everyone and their mom had like beachy at least themed bathrooms at some point and I love the green. It feels very 70s. The sounds in this room, I don't know if you can hear them super well like under my voice, but it's very calming. This is a very lovely room. Moving on to the upstairs, we've just got a little living area. It's like a little spare, like a guest room almost, a guest suite. Look at Harv! He deserves this. He deserves to be prominently featured in this room. Maybe this is his house. This is a little home away from home. When he comes to visit the island, this is where he stays. I love that, actually. I love that. That's a headcanon for me now. Also, look at the way they've put the plushies on the wall so it looks like they're on the bed. Anyway, Tasha, can you just come design my island? I mean that. <gasps> and downstairs is the kitchen. Look at how vibrant. This is so cool. I want to cook in here, bro. I want to bake a cake. We've got an absolute feast laid out on the table. Also, the mismatched chairs are everything. Tons of baked goods on the window. Sil, are you joking? Are you kidding? Oh my gosh. I've also just remembered that you can also go into the tents if there's a resident with a tent on the island and Disco's house was a tent on the beach, if you'll remember, by the campsite. So I will in fact be walking all the way back over there because I have to see it. Okay, I made it. I hope it's decorated. Let's go. Okay, I never truly doubted that it would be decorated. Look at how cute this is. It's like a little movie projector. You've got a little on the beach cinema, like a drive-in, but better. You just get to come and sit. Even the, the teddy bear is a festive 70s teddy bear. We love it here. We love it. Okay, I left and now I'm revisiting the island because it was turning to night really fast and I didn't want to miss anything. But anyway, I did miss this little dock before. Look at how cute it is. Look at how cute and these little outdoor cafe tables. We're just going to continue around these parts, figure out what we haven't seen yet. I just thought the time of day was kind of important for the vibes and I didn't want it to be fully night. So here we are. Oh, this is cute. A little fountain courtyard bud is hanging out. Oh, we might get to visit different villagers now because I left and came back, which also means we might have missed some before. So sorry for that. Look at this little cave. Are you joking? Look at how cool this looks. Stop right now. Like, I can't. This is so cool. Are you kidding? I love this island. I don't know if you've noticed. I do. I adore it. Let's head to the right here, figure out what's up. We've got some wheat on the river. There's a gnome running a little fruit stand by this orchard kind of vibe, you know, not suspicious at all. Our gnome overlords hanging out. Let's go see whose house this is. Oh, look, it's like a little puppy daycare almost. Or maybe they just have a lot of dogs. Look, it's Shep. He has a ton of pet dogs. That feels a little weird. Like maybe they're just his children, actually. Maybe he just has a lot of kids. This is super cute. I love this interior. His house feels so big somehow. I don't know. Like it feels bigger than Bud's house was to me. But this is so cute. Look at that rooster tapestry. I'm loving the patterns, loving the vibes. And then he does seem to have something going on in the backyard. There's a little pathway over here. Oh, there's a lot going on back here. There's a whole farm. Are you joking? Agriculture is important. Beautiful terraforming around this farm, by the way. What a luxurious, like, tropical farm we've got here. Complete view of the beach in the back. So stunning. Lots of terraforming had to happen here. I mean, think about how many cliffs are in the back of the island. We've got a sheep and everything. Uh, Shep has a sheep. It's a ram, I think, technically, but whatever, whatever. Then this path and leaning back. We saw earlier some stuff in the back of the island. Have we been? Look at We're getting like a sneak peek of Bunny's house area. You're gonna have to figure out how to get there. This is stunning, though. We've got a little wheat field. So much happening. There's even all... I can't remember what it's called when there's like a bee area, like beehives, but that's super cute. Oh, there's an incline right here that presumably leads up to where Bunny's house is. So let's go check that out. Lots of natural, like foresty stuff going on. Look at all of this stunning use of items, of plants. Everything is just beautiful. This terraforming again is so gorgeous. We've got another little villager house back here. This is very fancy. They've got gold roses set up. This is perhaps a rich villager. Let's go see. Oh, this is Deirdre's house. Look at her. She has like a little indoor greenhouse. 
Look at all these plants. How cute. I love the way the room is separated. Tashi uses wall partitions, I think, very well. This is so cute. Hi, Deirdre. Deirdre is actually my very first Animal Crossing villager ever, and the other one was Sprocket. No, I don't want to talk about it. I also didn't even realize you can get here from Tasha's house that we visited earlier. If I'd gone to the right, I could have been here. So that's super cute, right beside Deirdre. I'd want to be right beside Deirdre too, not gonna lie. And you can hop across here as well. Come see. Oh, there's a wishing well. Oh, it's run by a gnome. Definitely scamming you. Watch out. Another gnome up here. They're everywhere. You can paint some fruit up there though. Kind of tempting. But yeah, there's a little overlook for Tasha's house. So beautiful. Then if you go straight right here, that's how you get to Bunny's house. There's like a little pergola. This is beautiful too. Bunny is a songstress, as she should be, as she should be. She's like the pop star of the island, duh. She's got her own piano back here. I love that it's the street piano. She can sing. She's the one hosting the parties on the island, you know? You come here when you're cool. I would have loved to see her interior. I bet it's absolutely stunning. Heading back down this way though, we're gonna figure out where to go next. I hope I didn't miss anything over here. Also, we have Tasha. What a long, strange trip. I'm sure she's 100% sober though. Okay, I'm going back down past the water fountain and then I'm gonna head right whenever I can. We haven't explored right of resident services and speak of the devil, here it is. So we'll just head this way now. We got a whole other side of the island to explore. Oh, this is stunning, this pathway. Everyone shut up. This is giving Alice in Wonderland vibes. It's just the bunny rabbit, I think. It's the rabbit and the like grassy custom pathing. This is so cool. Oh, you can go up behind resident services here. Look at this. Oh, this is the museum. I didn't even notice before. Well, that's stunning. What a unique way to set up your museum and all this fencing and everything, the medieval building sides, it's like made itself into a fortress. Like, are you joking? This is so cool. Everyone like raise your hand if you want Tasha to design your island too, because could be me, could be me. Oh, this is cute. Definitely not a dispensary or anything. Um, this is a flea market. How stunning is this setup? I love the stairs made out of custom designs. You can buy books too. Look at this. And I love the lava lamps used throughout the island just to like enhance the ambiance, you know? Look at all this like used stuff. It's like antiques in an antique era to us. Retro ice cream machine. Again, the attention to detail is stunning. Look at this little beach too. You can come over here, beat some drums. I forgot they worked. And then a beautiful little plant area. This is so cute. A bakery too, of course, absolutely necessary. It also sells fish though. So I guess just a regular restaurant. This is just like a store. They've got canned goods as well. I don't want to miss whatever's on the beach just in case we can't get onto it over here. So we do have a little fish catching area and then the island peninsula is here. Absolutely stunning. Great use of the storage shed. You know, it's here if you need to get something while you're outdoors. A little surfing area on the side. Shut up. Some KK vibes happening. Oh, a festival float. This is like definitely interesting. She's protecting her eggs. I wonder what kind of... um island lore this contributes to. Maybe she's from outer space as well. Running back through the flea market, let's take the incline. What a view. We've got a gazebo here and then on the left is Nook's Cranny. Of course the shops would be by the flea market. That's a genius idea. If you want to cosplay as Harv, you can come get one of these shirts. How stinking cute. Looks like there's some stuff going on up there definitely a gnome so this is not this is not a pleasant area to be but it's super pretty this is like where the gnomes have their little their little neighborhood we're in gnome country it's also funny to me that the instagram for tasha is gnome crossing like this is this is the important thing the gnomes shut up this house is yet another fortress. This is Bill Wibley's house. If you didn't know, Bill Wibley is a villager that was part of a meme on Tumblr ages ago where it was like, 
people will be hating on an Animal Crossing villager like, oh, Bill Wibley like burned all my crops and killed my family. And then he looks like this and it's just like a hand drawn little like pink bear, super cute. Bill Wibley does have 70s vibes, the original Bill Wibley, but this villager, this resident representative is cosplaying him. You know, very interesting. We are going to explore that. We are going to explore that in a second. Um, but yeah, so if you didn't know, that's who Bill Wibley is. It's like important Animal Crossing lore. So I'm really glad he's on the island. Tasha does lore in general very well, clearly. Oh, and then we've got this land bridge. How stunning. Oh, and a little beach like fair. What is it called? Like a beach carnival? Let's head to- look at the vibes! Are you kidding? This is like Bill Wibbly's disco. Oh, there's a warp pipe! Well, I'm gonna figure out where that goes, but I want to look at the beach really quick first. Oh, the music here is so good. Here is Disco again. Disco is the owner of the tent on the beach near the campsite. We've got an astronaut serving drinks back here. The vibes are just, they're really good. They're really good. I love it. I do. Now let's see. That means there's a warp pipe here. So that means there's a way to get to the disco. Let's, let's see where it comes out. Oh, we're in another house. Is this Bill Wibley's house? <gasps> we are in Bill Wibley's house. So this is the only way to access the house. How genius is that? Take a second to appreciate that Bill Wibley is on his own island and you can get here because Tasha put a warp pipe in here. We come out in a little gyroid for us. Let's check out the rest of the house. This is so exciting. Like, I'm not kidding. This is the most fun I've had in Animal Crossing in like weeks. Look at that. The astronaut has his own little location in Bill Wibley's house. We were in the basement when we saw the gyroid for us. So let's go to the right. I'm playing it cool, but I'm actually so impressed. We've got whatever's going on here. You know, I don't, I won't pretend to know what's going on, but I appreciate the vibes. You can change your appearance at least. And then to the left, we've got this little band room. You know, this is like a fever dream and definitely not something other than a fever that could make you trip. Oh my goodness, the back room is the gnome headquarters. Bill Wibley is in fact in cahoots with the- Oh my gosh, they're like spying on all the villagers? Shut up, look at this. He's like controlling their fates or something. Hello? What is happening? Bill Wibbly is in fact a bad person, so, or a bad villager. Like the joke was that Bill Wibbly is innocent. That was like the original meme, like he's just a little guy. Nah, he is a criminal. He is in league with these guys. Knowing what the back room is, it makes sense that it's kind of hidden back here. Like you can't really see the entrance because of the design for the astronauts bar area. But yeah, it's accessible. You can go, you can go see their evil, their evil mishaps. Oh, and then up here is the disco. Come and hang out. There's a literal disco ball, of course. This is what Bill Wibley's disco is all about. It is a front. It is a- oh, it's in outer space too. Look at that. We've joined the gnomes in their homeland, outer space. Bill Wibley, you know, is a front for the gnome overlords, but we appreciate this attention to giving us a spot to have fun. I feel like we've just had a spiritual experience together. I hope you're as impressed with what has happened here as I am, because what the heck? And here we are back at the outdoor disco. What the heck did we just experience together? I do want to get a picture of this because hello. Anyway, a little seating, seating spot over here. You can see the farm back there that we visited earlier. I'm like trying to figure out if I've missed anything on the island. I feel like... There's so much to see. Excuse me, Tasha. Did I fully explore the home of the gnome overlords? Did I go in the back here? I'm not sure. Oh, I guess it's just where you can see Bill Wibley's house. So yeah, I did, I did. Let me check the map, make sure I haven't missed anyone. Okay, so Drago does have his own little house here and I can't remember if we visited it. So let me go over here. Oh, this was the like, duck area we saw earlier. So Drago is not home. We can't go in, but this is his house. So that's how you get here. It's just a little bridge that I completely missed when we were walking through the snow area earlier. This like gym area. So cool. And then I am going to see if Bob is home. Hello, Bob. Hello. Okay. It is just not in the cards for us to go inside Bob's house. This is in fact Bob's house. He's got art for sale out here. I'm sure his house is gorgeous. 
All in all, what an incredible island. I hope you loved it as much as I did. Eventide has been such a pleasure to explore, Tasha. Thank you so much for having me today. I hope you all are scared of the gnomes. Remember to tell me your Spotify wrapped top artists. I'm really nosy, I need to know. And thank you all for watching. Bye.